And summer's winding down, so it's time for those college grads to get a job. And the good news is the degree is going to pay off because the average starting salary for the college class of 2020 is over $55,000. It's almost 10% higher than a couple years ago. Credible.com personal finance expert Dan Ricardo joins us with uh, a little more information on how to make the most of the degree. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Leslie. How are you? I'm good. I am looking at the average salary for graduates of 2020. I don't know if that's the same for journalism graduates, but, uh, but you know, good for those who aren't in the journalism industry. Yeah. Remember, it is an average. Um, and there's 10.9 million less reasons for recent college grads not to find a job. So it's a great job market, especially if you have the right skills. Now's the time. Yeah, and, and so talk a little bit about the job market. What are people really looking for right now? Yeah, good question. So um, the, the most popular majors, the most in-demand majors are still STEM, right? Science, technology, engineering, math, computer science, accounting, nursing. Leslie, if you can spell cybersecurity, you're going to find a job right now, right? That is a, mm -hmm. another really hot field. Um, there just simply aren't enough grads in those fields to fill all the available jobs in this country. Right. And, and when people are out there looking for jobs, you know, you say it's a market for the people who are looking for them. Yep. What are some important things to keep in mind that you think are more reason, reasonable to ask for right now as opposed to maybe those two years ago? Yeah, great question. Um, you know, everybody, no matter what field you're in, no matter what degree you have, you want to make sure you research the market, know exactly what your degree is worth in the area that you're in. That's important. Um, research employers, find out who's paying what, that sort of thing. It's easy to do now. Compare benefits, um, not just the pay, the 401k plan, for example, the health care benefits. What kind of schedule? Now, that schedules become super important, especially to Gen Z workers. They want to know, am I going to be in the office? Am I going to be hybrid? What's the company culture like, right? And what I tell my students at the university is the most important thing right now at age 22 or 23 that you can do for your career is prioritize training and opportunity. Don't worry about the next $1,000 you know, pay increase. Um, really focus right now on your skill set and the training that you'll get from that first employer. That's the most important thing. Yeah, and then in terms of uh, you know saving, it is is that something to ask? And, and does that fall in, in in line with the benefits? You know, four hundred one k things like that. Will yeah. the company match? I love that question. Um, if right from the gate, start if you can. Get in that four hundred one k plan the minute your company lets you in. Uh, ideally, you'll want to save 15% of your salary. I know that sounds like a lot, but if you can do 10%, even 5%, whatever it is, the amount's less important than the time. So day one, I always tell those students, get in the 401k plan and get whatever match your employer will provide. Yeah, such good tips. Before you know it, you're 10 years in. All right, thanks. Yes. <laughs> thanks, or Dan. 30. Or 30, there you go. Both, both a lot of time. <laughs> thanks, Dan, we appreciate you. Thanks, Leslie.